welcome back to Life of. This is Life of an Animal, and today we are going to be going through the animals that GTA lets us play, even though they really don't let you do that unless you're on PC. So we're going to be doing that. It makes no sense, but it's pretty fun to be able to play these type of animals, uh, just because you never get to do it. It's just, it's very strange. There is no point, unless you're the bird, of course, and you get to poop on everything, and that's what you really want to do in your life. Um, then you're all good. You have nothing to worry about. Um, some of these animals you have no options to do anything at all. Um, practically it's just as boring as it is like this, but it's always interesting. You know, we could go and play a million characters and it's always different to be a cat. As you can see, some you can run fast, at least that's a plus. You can't really do anything to anyone. Oh, is that what you're gonna talk shit to a little cat? Wonder if I can claw at them or anything. What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, this guy's gonna kick a cat, I think. Uh-oh. Oh! Shit, he's kicking a cat. He's kicking a cat. Oh, he's still running after me. Oh, don't hit the bat! <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Get... <laughs> this is not... <laughs> oh, the noises is just fucking fantastic. I gotta get out of here, because this dude's gonna chase me the fuck down and skin me and eat me for dinner. Guaranteed, still gonna be behind me. I wonder how long I'm gonna have to run to be able to fucking lose this guy. This is fucking ridiculous. Let's go ahead and just book it. I'm gonna book it all the way down to the next intersection, and hopefully it'll get him off of me. I don't know, but this cat is on some crack, that's for sure. Got hit by a car, stayed down for hella long. Yeah, I don't see the guy, so that's a plus. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cycle throughout all the different animals. I'll even go and do some um, water animals, which is something I didn't do last time. Uh, we're- I don't know how we're gonna do that, to be honest. It's gonna be a little interesting, but we'll go ahead. I think the flying ones are really cool, because you get an aspect. Now, the only part of this that you can't do is... You can't land. Every time you try to land, you kill yourself. So, I mean, it's really beautiful. I mean, this is awesome in itself right here. Um, but we'll go ahead and take off with this guy, and we'll see if, uh, we can actually land him. Also, if you smack a building, you die. Um, so if you want to be a bird, you got to do it the right way and make sure you don't hit any obstacles when you're flying. Which makes sense. Okay, that's the nice glide. I mean, this is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> if you have, like, 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 zero ambitions to do anything else on GTA when you have a PC, and this is your calling, I respect that. Because this is pretty relaxing if, if, I don't know how long I could go doing this, but it's pretty interesting because this is what it would be like if you were a bird. And it would be extremely funny if people could actually do this in like multiplayer. So like every bird you saw flying around was an actual bird that someone was controlling. It would be kind of weird actually because that would be a lot of time you'd have to spend being birds. But I think it would be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and try to land this guy. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Let me see if there's any like landing gear on this fucker because... Yeah, definitely no landing gear. We're going to have to attempt... There's no, there's no brakes at all either. Like... How is he supposed to stop? No. All right, we're gonna attempt the heli helipad. It seems the most safest and sane place to try to land. So let's go ahead and attempt to land on this. Oh God, we're going in hot. Uh-oh, dead. See, even with God mode on, you die. And Michael's face did not look too good. Um, he's also floating. I don't understand what the fuck that's about, but not birds. I don't know, birds don't seem to work as well as other ones yeah here's an ape this for some reason he sits above the ground uh, about four or five inches not exactly sure what's that about let's go ahead and attempt and see if we can do any that we have dead oh that's a humpback whale that's right um almost <laughs> immediately you end up dying so i think we'll have to be in the water when we do the water portion of these animals um so here's a husky it's just a regular dog um, oh, and we're underneath the map. Oh, that's a mountain lion. There we go. Oh, it looks so weird under here. We are breaking the system. Let's just put it that way. Come on. Is it going to snap back? I don't think it is. Maybe if I kill myself, um, it'll bring me back to something normal. Don't spawn stuff when it's trying to load in. Obviously, it's the ground wasn't there when I loaded it in. So it was like, well, the ground's never going to be there now. So, okay, let's let it load in. Let Michael fucking do his thing, and now I can spawn. Let's do a pig. Let's see if we can do anything crazy with a pig. Definitely not the... Good, I mean, still, look, two inches off the ground. Don't understand what that's about. Oh my god, this... 
Like I said, no point. Let me see if I can hit people down. It's a pretty big pig. Nope. The mountain lion can knock people down, though. Like, oh, no, the pig. Oh, my God. Why did the pig cross the road? Or it's actually, why did the chicken cross the road? I make my own renditions of uh, childhood riddles. A poodle. Yeah, we could do a poodle. I need something that'll attack someone. Or at least a bird that'll shit on someone. We got a pug, a rabbit. Oh, we're gonna be a rabbit. Just bounce around in this fucking cute little... Bounce, bounce, bounce. Do I, I, do I mind, bitch? I'm, I'm a bunny. Pet me. What if I just followed you around all day? That would be the most adorable thing ever. You have a little pet bunny. I'd stay in your shadow. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. Um, what other animals? We got a rat. A retriever. Oh, I remember this reminds me of Delilah a lot. Definitely a Delilah look-alike. Imposter. And an ape that sits like eight or nine inches above the ground. Holy shit. Here, a Rottweiler. Let's see if I can um, attack people with this. I'm not sure. I wonder if I can... Is it just bark? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I opened up EUP. There we go. Let's see if we can get something going now. You gonna attack them, Chop? Attack the goddamn people. Okay, they're not gonna do anything, it looks like. A lot of these animals just seem to... Alright, you know what we're doing? What the fuck is a Westie? Oh, okay. A boar? Yeah, none of these. Alright, we're going into the ocean. That's it. I've had it. We're going into the ocean and we're gonna bring some goddamn... Um... We're gonna bring some fucking sea life into this episode. Let's go ahead and get to the ocean. We're going down to the beach, and I believe I'm going to have to swim in and spawn these. I'm not exactly sure that we'll be doing this together for the first time. There we go. I'll probably end up dying if I bring this fucker in there, but, um, go ahead and get to the menu almost immediately. Oh, we picked the slowest animal to try to walk into this ocean. That is for damn sure. Okay, it most likely we'll die instantly. Hopefully it doesn't, but, um, alright, here we go. Oh, that's amazing! Oh my god. This portion is 20 times better. Dude, this is so fucking awesome. Oh, and he's even making noises like a dolphin. That's so fucking cool. Holy shit. This is awesome. Now, this is how you have to explore. This ain't bad. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that looks so real. And I'm sure we could be a shark and a whole bunch of stuff. So this is... This would take ages to look underneath the ocean like this, that's for damn sure. And this is exactly why I try to tell you guys every time in Life of an Explorer why why nothing spawns. is because technically when you're underneath the ocean, you can't really see that far. So, they do the same principle, like it's a, that's why you can't really see that far now. Um, which is unfortunate, I wish when you actually remove the water you could see long distances, but then it would probably shit our computers. So that's not good. We're going pretty deep into the ocean right now. At least we'll be able to spawn all the different types of, um, sea life, especially since we're underneath the ocean. But this is really awesome. This dolphin, I mean, that's as cool as it gets right there. Let's be a fish. That is, we're a really small thing in a really big ocean right now, that's for sure. Oh, you know how sucky it would be to be a fish? And then motherfuckers are over there fucking fishing for you and stuff? Uh, I just gotta make sure I do not spawn anything that is not supposed to be underneath the ocean this far, because we would definitely be in some, uh, issues. This is a slow guy. He has about one movement every fucking second or two. That is not someone I want to be. He is a... Oh, that's awesome. We've got to be these characters for a little because of the different noises they make. These are like under... Oh, that's so cool. I can't turn them more shit, though. I'm just telling you right now. I'll, <laughs> I'll use the rocks to turn. But pretty cool noises. Come on, keep making them. Keep making the noises. The whole reason why I'm using you, motherfucker. Oh, this is so amazing, though. I don't think you could ask for anything more realistic. If we could just turn off the fucking address in the corner, it would just be super relaxing. I don't think the killer whale or this orca, whatever the fuck it is, has the best movements, even like the dolphin hat or whatnot. That is so cool. I gotta admit, that is a really interesting sound that it's making. Go ahead and see if we could find more... Shark hammer. Here we go. I think I remember playing this one before or something. Oh, this is amazing. This one has good movement. Look at that movement. Almost fucking realistic. That is scary. That'd be cool if I could attack someone. If I could attack someone with this shit, dude, we would be fucking set. Oh my god, we could play our own episode of Jaws up in this shit. That would be so amazing.
I'm gonna actually see if I can get a really cool thumbnail by, um... Uh, unfortunately, GTA doesn't let me fucking do that shit, which... Oh, here we go. Bam! You don't have to always be in a vehicle, you gotta just know the workarounds. That is awesome, though. That is... That is very creepy, but awesome at the same time. Like, holy shit. Go ahead and get, um... Real close. Maybe we can get, like, a Jaws where it pops up. Just a fin. That would be fucking awesome. I don't know if it's working. It's hard to tell. That is fucking cool, though. Can't ask for much more than that. That's for damn sure. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and stop recording that, though. Just so I can save that. You guys will see that as a thumbnail. Thumbnail, thumbnail making in the process. Um, let's see what other type of man un animals we have underneath the water. I'm not exactly sure. Shark tiger. That thing's pretty cool. Oh, that's just like a regular shark, then. That'd be cool if I get um. Let's do it. Let's, let's try the jaws thing with this. Unfortunately, I can't get it to. I can't see. You know what I mean? Like I every time I try to move the camera up, it doesn't let me actually see the fin above water. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to partake in that like I wanted to recreate my own jaws episode. Um, but at least we tried. Ooh, wow! Look at the water. How it split weird like that. That's weird. Okay, we're getting a little low on water. Oh, back ends sticking out. Got to love it. Oh, and dead. Literally almost immediately getting out of water, you fucking die. That's kind of shitty. I mean, what's the point of having God mode if you literally die almost immediately? Um, we'll go back down to the water. Actually, let's just make sure that there is more water animals. We have a stingray and a boar. So we have one more water animal. I'll go back there and we'll try that out just... Just to see what the hell the stingray is and what it's all about out here in the world of the ocean. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and just take Michael in there. Once I spawn into the character, at least I'm in the ocean and I spawn, it should be alright. There we go. So this is a stingray and none of the underwater animals um, you can attack with, but this thing is definitely very strange. That is uh, quite the underbody. It almost looks like it has eyes down there, but I feel like that's a nostril. Nostril and a mouth. If that's the case, well, that's creepy because I think those are the eyes. Definitely a weird looking animal slash fish, whatever the hell it might be. It looks like I have a companion down here. Come on, swim faster to him. I think I see another stingray. Whole bunch of fishies. I didn't see that much wildlife uh, or sea life when I was out there deep in the ocean, but I guess that's... Probably the case, you don't even know what you're really going to respond or respond to. There it is. What you're going to see down at the bottom of the ocean. Luckily, there's no creepy shit that we can come across in this game, but I'm not going to be able to catch up with this motherfucker. He is literally smashing away. Come here. This one has no fucking calls or anything. What is that thing that's floating? Is that a boat or something? Oh, it's one of those ramps. I was like, Jesus, what is that? Talk about unknown shit. That's like a boat floating. That'd be cool if there was people swimming in the ocean, though. We could see their feet. That would be pretty awesome. All right, well, this is going to wrap it up for Life of an Animal. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's an animal that you guys would like to let me... Or would you guys like to let... Jesus Christ, and I do this for a living. Let me know if there's an animal you guys would like to see me use for the whole episode next time we do Life of an Animal. May Let me know if there's another episode. Let me know if you just want to fucking tell me to shut up. Whatever it is, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next episode.